Hi there, my name is Daryl Valdez with the HP Displays Business Unit. Today I want to demo for you the new HP ZVR, so Virtual Reality Display. It will be available in the May-June time frame, 2015. So what we're seeing here is the ZVR unit. Um, right now it's in a standard 2D mode. Uh, but what you'll notice is that, that top bezel, there are four cameras. And those cameras are looking for something to interact with. And what we'll do is we'll introduce those now. I'm going to show you the cameras for uh, the lenses first. So it's going to track off those reflectors. And once I bring these into the field of view of the camera, you'll see the image becomes 3D. So to our eyes out here, it's uh, rather distorted. But as I move the, the lenses around, the actual images are manipulated and become virtual reality in paradigm with the, uh, the placement of the lenses. So I'm going to place these on. So I've got the lenses on now. So as I see from my vantage point, it's in perfectly great 3D replication. Uh, with that, I'm going to introduce a stylus to this. So this is a stylus uh, that comes with the system. So with this, I can manipulate uh, any of the objects in here, so I can pick that up and I can look through the tube. I can place it uh, in front of my camera so the screen is actually depicting shooting it through. We can look it around. I can take uh, any of these objects and actually virtually rotate them. So right now I'm going to leave that in place and I'll direct your attention to this screen. So this is maybe uh, a setup for a teacher to student environment. So this, the, the classroom is seeing the uh, ruler now actually out in space. So I can manipulate it, place it, so the students can follow along with the teacher. Uh, what I'm going to do now is grab the, the doctor. I'm going to place her in the vortex. So in my view, I've got a, a very vivid, very detailed 3D rendering of a heart and lung scene. I can now grab the lungs and move them out of my way. So I can now adjust. I can take the, the heart and, and make it translucent. So I'll rotate it for a view of the camera. So the, the camera is oriented to the left, so if I point the device, and you can now see into uh, the valves of the heart. I can come over here and grab a camera, and we'll take a view from the heart outwards. So I'm going to put the camera inside this valve, and you'll see up here in this image, that's the view from inside the heart looking out of the valve. So it's actually shooting out. What I can also do is I can, uh, with this software, if I direct your attention on the screen, this menu is showing what is in clear mode and what is in um, unclear mode. So I can now, just with a pointer, highlight on the screen what is the aorta, for instance, what is the left ventricle, right ventricle, etc. So it's a very uh, effective teaching tool for uh, a student class or maybe a, a biology class. So some of the target markets for this would be education, certainly. Uh, we could also see this in manufacturing, or so it's early prototyping. This would be an easy way to do that. If you can scan it and digitize it, you can now enter it into this environment and we can manipulate, rotate it. Uh, you can even see maybe take an HP Sprout to digitize it, enter it here, manipulate it. Uh, go down to its bare essence and bring it back up. If we're happy with that, then we can then print it in 3D with a future 3D printer, do a prototype, and if that prototype is uh, to our liking, then we can send it off to a true prototype made of different material. So we can cut that development cycle down uh, drastically and really speed up our processing. So this is one part of the, the blended reality piece from HP. Uh, this is the HP virtual reality, the ZVR display. And uh, I thank you for your time.